If you have an older garage door opener, chances are you have one of these, a big clunky remote. And if you are driving the same car every day, you're likely to forget to bring it unless you're carrying it on your person. And let's be honest, this thing is as big as a brick. If you've ever thought you'd be better off using your smartphone to gain access to your garage, this project is for you. Using a mobile app called Blink, you can build projects that use virtual buttons to control internet connected microcontrollers like the particle core. Now you can leave the remote at home and open up your garage with the device you're already carrying. You'll need the following parts and tools to build this project. And it should come together in just a few hours. First, let's take a look at your garage door opener. Make sure it has these exposed terminals and then use a short piece of jumper wire to see which two need to be bridged to actuate the door opening. Once we've determined that, let's build our circuit. Use double-sided tape to mount the mini breadboard and the relay board to the bottom tray of the enclosure. Drop the particle core into the breadboard so that the USB port is just at the edge of the breadboard. Using female-to-male -male jumpers, connect the relay board to the core. Make sure that you connect input 1 on the relay shield to D0 on the core and input 2 to D3. Make a short jumper out of solid cord wire and use it to bridge the common pins between the two relays. Supply power to the core and let it boot normally. Download the Blink app and set up your account. When you start a new project, you'll have the option to give it a name and take note of the authorization code for your project. You'll be using this code later to connect Blink to your particle sketch, so tap the email button to send the code to yourself. Tap anywhere in the open grid to create a button. Tap the button to open up its properties. Assign it to digital pin 0 and set its function to act as a button, not as a switch. Close the app and set aside for now. Open the particle build IDE and paste it in the project code. If it looks familiar, it's basically the Blink example sketch. You can get it from makezine.com or from a link in the description below. Paste in the authorization code from your Blink project and flash the core. You can now test out your circuit and your code. Connect the probes of a multimeter or continuity tester to the two outer must terminals on either relay and launch the Blink app. When you press and hold the button, you should see continuity pass between both relays. Cut a hole large enough for the USB cable into one side of the top part of the enclosure and a smaller hole in the other. Mount two lengths of wire into the two outermost terminals and feed out the small hole. Screw the enclosure lid into place. As much as it would be convenient to simply mount the base plate to the underside of your garage door, we've seen some unreliability from these relays when mounted in this way. Place two pieces of Velcro tape onto the top of the enclosure. Mount the enclosure to the underside of your garage door opener and connect the two wires to the terminals we identified earlier. Supply power to the core and give it a moment to boot. Once ready, open the app and test the functionality. As with any cloud-based system, it's worth mentioning that there may be some security concerns regarding this project. You are welcome to run your own Blink server, but when you compare it to the vulnerabilities of garage door radios or mechanical locks, it may well be a moot issue in your home. This project has plenty of utility, but it's really just the starting point of the possibilities between Blink and the particle core. How would you use these systems? Let us know in the comments below. If you liked this video, subscribe to our channel or send us a comment on Facebook or Twitter. Be sure to check out our other project videos or visit us on makezine.com.